Another hot day across the south. The temperatures lar largely crawling up into the 90s. It took us a while to get there, but in the peak of daytime heating in this afternoon, we did see temperatures break into the 90 degree category across most of the region. Wiggins was a bit cooler. They stayed at the 85 degree mark for their high temperature for today. Radar and satellite over the past few hours has showed those showers and thunderstorms along the coast fizzling out. It's going to be the case again tomorrow where we see some of those isolated showers and thunderstorms along the southern coast. They will fizzle out as soon as the sun goes down and they lose that daytime heating energy that the sun does provide. Now our forecast map for tomorrow shows plenty of these warm, humid temperatures across most of the south. It's going to be the case for here as well as we move into the weekend with those isolated showers and thunderstorms along the southern coast, largely in the afternoon hours, but dissipating when the sun goes down and they lose their energy. That's just typical summer thunder thun thunderstorms. Our day planner for tomorrow shows plenty of clear skies, mostly sunny skies all day long. Temperature starting off at 71 at the 7 a.m. hour, but quickly warming up to 84 by the lunchtime. And in the evening for your commute home, we'll see a high temperature of 88 degrees breaking into the 90s again tomorrow at 90 degrees for our afternoon high temperature. It's going to feel like we're well above that though. It's going to feel like we're at 99 degrees tomorrow. When we add in the humidity, it's going to be that case again on Friday. But after Friday, we do begin a slight trend downward. As you can see here on Saturday, our high temperature will be 87. And in the humidity, it feels like 97. So not a huge difference, but nonetheless, the trend is your friend and we're eventually going to trend a bit more cooler. That's of course is welcome news. Now for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, very warm, very humid, abundant sunshine for our Friday though. And as we look ahead to this weekend, it'll be partly sunny with isolated chances of those afternoon showers and thunderstorms both Saturday and Sunday. Now for tonight, we do drop down to about 70 degrees in Hattiesburg, 71 in Columbia, 71 down in Purvis. Print is going to see a high low temperature tonight of 70 as well as Sanford. Plenty of clear skies tonight as we move into the overnight hours. Quickly warming up tomorrow though, again into the 90s, 90 in Hattiesburg, 90 in Sanford, 89 in Prentice, Columbia, 90, largely hovering around that upper 80, low 90 degree mark. And of course, add in the humidity and it's going to feel much warmer than that. And you can see that here on our hourly planner. We're going to have real fill temperatures in the upper 90s approaching that triple digit mark. Now we'll see those mostly sunny skies, warm and humid conditions for our Thursday 91 on Friday as we end the work week. Now we do see some change in the form of some rain showers on Saturday, about a 60% chance of showers and some increased cloud cover. That's going to help drop our temperatures down a few degrees. So about 87, 88 on Sunday. A little bit, a little bit of a drop off there. A little bit, we'll take it. But as you can see, the trend is your friend and our temperatures are beginning to trend a bit cooler. Not quickly, but they're trending a bit mm. cooler. Okay, yeah. heading that way. Thank you.